it's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I want to say this is our third Pearl Jam reaction, and I've enjoyed everything that we checked out so far. The last one, probably my favorite, and of course, the way that my mind works, I'm, I'm forgetting the name right now off the top of my head, and I literally just looked at those reactions, so I apologize, but it was like an animated video, and it kind of had to do with like more so, was it war or like just, just the evolution of things? I think it was the, the evolution of things, like people and it just it was very interesting if you guys haven't checked it out make sure that you do there will be a playlist on my channel with all the pearl jam stuff as we go through more more uh more more music my words i can't get my words out today anyways we have a live right now and i want to dive into this comment down below let me know what else you guys want to see but let's see what they was doing with this one I feel like there's a concept behind this but i'm not completely grasping it because he had started off talking about what you thought was your daddy was nothing but uh then he says well you were sitting home alone at age 13 your real daddy was dying sorry you didn't see him but i'm glad we talked oh i'm still alive which i really enjoyed the hook just the way that he kind of his voice just works so beautifully with it. I'm still alive. I can't do it, obviously, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Then it says, she said, I'm ready for you. Why can't I remember everything to this day? Now I can't see. I just stare. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there is something very specific that this is about, but I'm not grasping it, at least not yet. Has anybody crowd surfed at a show? I think I've I don't know what video it was. I talked about something like this before in the past. I don't think that I would ever do it because at first of all, I feel like when I go to a show, which I just haven't been to a show in years, but like I have my wallet with me nowadays, definitely your phone. I mean, maybe back in the day, you didn't really have that, but you'd have your wallet with you, you know, maybe some money separated from your wallet in your pocket, like just I, whatever the case is. But if you do a, a crowd surf, I'm just like, you trust in a whole lot of people to not go in your pocket, right? Because when you got all these hands on you and touching you and shit, I feel like you might not realize if one person just slips in that pocket and grabs your wallet out. The same is if you were a, an artist. I mean, as an artist, you figure, oh, they're my fans. 
But there's one of those goofy motherfuckers in the crowd that might take like your, your wallet, try to take your watch off, your chain, you know, disconnect some shit. Like, I feel like you got to be careful about that. Now, hopefully you think that other people in the crowd that maybe notice it would try to, you know, help you out. But I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have lost shit doing crowd surfing and stuff like that. That's, that's got to be a thing, right? Or they drop you. You got to be, you gotta be careful. guitar stuff like i feel like half the time i listen to some of these songs i'm just anticipating that guitar solo because everybody does it so well and there's some that are obviously way better than others like was it was it uh eddie van halen or something? like his was unbelievable i really like the one in freebird from um who, who is it that is freebird now why can't i think of them off the top of my head i'm sure somebody knows i feel bad that i can't remember what it is now because i literally checked it out and it's one of my favorite that i've ever heard like ever um acdc with my man uh why is my brain not working today? Yo, that's crazy. My brain is not working. AC, that's my guy on ACDC too. Holy shit. All right, well, I got to just let it go. But I, you guys know who I'm talking about, I'm sure, for the most part. If you guys like guitar solos, name the people that you like to hear them from the most. That's probably the best thing I should do right now is ask that. Angus, right? It's, it's an Angus, I think. Someone's legs up. They they spinning that mother around. I almost said I'm. Oh my bad. I didn't mean to switch the song. I almost said that mother effer. Like set it out. I got. I can't be saying stuff like that because it will end up getting the video demonetized. So I try not to swear. But they were spinning him around. Um, Angus. Angus Young. That's who it is. I had to look. I'm like I'm pretty sure it's Angus. But so I googled really fast up top, and it, it's. It is Angus. So this song I enjoy. Like I like the feel of it, the vibe of it. I don't necessarily know what the topic is. As far as what's being sung about. Because it says something like, what's still wrong? Well, you're still alive or something like that. Then you're still alive, she said. Um, is something wrong? She said, of course there is. You're still alive, she said. Oh, and do I deserve to be? And if so, if so, who answers? Who answers? So I'm not 100% sure. It sounds like it could be something regarding like. Either it's somebody you don't like and you feel like they should have passed instead of your your father, because right, it talks about the father passing in the beginning. I'm just not completely positive. Um, maybe it's like a stepdad kind of thing, dad, stepdad. But somebody fill me in if you guys know a little bit more. I, I apologize. I Sometimes I don't necessarily always catch the meaning. I'm a little bit slow on the uptake, but I always want to educate myself. So if somebody knows more, please, please let me know. But uh, But yeah, let me know your favorite guitar solo. I guess your favorite guitar solo, but also just who you enjoy listening to do guitar solos a lot. Like, I like Angus a lot. Um, I just think he's extremely dope. And I'm still mad that I can't remember who Freebird was was by. 
Yeah, it's crazy that I can't remember these things. Leonard Skinner, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. I've not listened to a whole lot of them. So that's probably why their name isn't super familiar to me. But I might get some of the reactions up on the channel as well. Again, if you guys want it, let me know. But anyways, let me let me stop. I'm just I'm waffling now, as they'd say in the UK. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.